Hello everyone! Today we are doing something a little bit different. I just got a bag of yarn in the mail from Hobie and I'm going to be doing a yarn review with you guys. So a representative over at Hobie reached out to me and wanted to send me some yarn to show you all, so I thought why not? Now I've never actually heard of Hobie before, but I'm also not really on social media so that's likely why. I'm sure many of you guys out there already know about Hobie. But if not, Hobie is a Copenhagen-based online yarn retailer that also offers pretty much anything else you'd need when making a crochet or knit project. So it's kind of like a one-stop crochet knit shop. So without further ado, let's just get right on into the review. So first up, we have Hobie's Rainbow 8-8 100% cotton yarn. Now, I had no idea what 8-8 meant, but apparently that was the old way to, um, I guess, determine the weight of your yarn. So the number before the dash is the size or thickness of the yarn, and the number after the dash is the number of strands spun together. So this is a standardized weight three light yarn. So it's like a light worsted or a DK yarn. It's 50 grams or 82 yards in a skein. And they recommend using a 3.5 to four millimeter crochet hook um, or 3.5 to four millimeter knitting needles. So I got this yarn in a range of colors. The first one being the classic white, which is number 01. The second one is light sky blue, which is number 71. The third one is pink, which is number 45. And then the last color is dark mint, which is number 85. So the feel of this yarn, I would say, is pretty similar to other 100% cotton yarns I've used before. It's nice and soft, but I mean, other than that, it's pretty standard, nothing too far out of the ordinary. What I do really like about this yarn though is that it comes not only in the weight 3 light but also in weight 2 fine and weight 1 super fine. I find that for myself it's really hard to find a cotton yarn that's not worsted weight in my local yarn stores. And not only that but this also comes in a hundred different colors which is awesome because I love using cotton yarn, but I really don't like using worsted weight for it, so it's great to have some other alternatives. It'll cost you about $2.60 USD, or at the time of me filming this video, it's actually on sale for $1.80. So now that all the logistics are done, let's go ahead and test this yarn. I'm starting off with the classic white cotton, and I can already tell just by making this chain that this feels somewhat stiff. It's not difficult to work with, but it feels more durable than other cottons I've used. But when I switch over to the colored cottons, I can already feel a difference. It's much softer, almost like it's been frogged or washed once compared to the white yarn. So I definitely like working with these softer cottons a little better. This definitely has great vibrant colors, they don't look faded at all, and the stitch definition with this cotton yarn is really nice. You can see every little stitch, so it'd be great for something with a fun stitch pattern, I think. Um, it's definitely suited for small accessories, home decor, bags, etc. When thinking of clothing, I would probably only use this yarn for something like a crochet bikini, but not for larger garments, just because of the overall weight. It'd just be a little bit too much, I think. But overall, working with this cotton yarn is very similar to working with other cotton yarns I've used before, except I think they have a greater color range, which I personally like. Moving on to the next yarn, I have here Hobie's Baby Cotton 100% Organic Egyptian Cotton. How fancy. So this is a weight one super fine yarn. It's 50 grams or 186 yards. And they recommend you use a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter hook or 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter knitting needles. So I got this yarn in three colors. This one is mint number nine. We have jade, which is number 29, and then willow, which is number 30. 
Now the feel of this yarn is slightly softer than the previous rainbow cotton, but I also feel like lighter yarns tend to feel softer anyways, so that could also play a factor in that. Um, but this baby cotton comes in 41 different colors, but these are going to be a little more subtle, more pastel, because again, this is marketed for, you know, baby projects, baby clothes, things of that sort. And one skein of this is 540 USD at the time of me recording this video. Okay, with logistics out of the way, let's move on to demoing this yarn. I'm starting off using the color Willow, and I can already tell this yarn is really soft and easy to use just by how it glides through the hook. I definitely prefer the feel of this one over the rainbow cotton, but then again, I think I'm just biased towards thinner yarns, so definitely keep that in mind. Now this is the only non-mercerized, mercerized? I think I said that right. The only non-mercerized weight one cotton that I've used, and overall, I really enjoy it. My preference is still for mercerized cotton or cotton thread, but if you want something that's just 100% cotton, plain and simple, I definitely think this is a great option for you. It's a really versatile yarn. I could see myself using this for accessories, clothing items, etc, etc. And it'd also be great to use with any patterns that have fun stitches as well. Now moving on to the third yarn, this is Hobie's Dahlia Mixo 100% cotton. It's a weight to fine yarn with 200 grams or 874 yards in one cake. They recommend you use a 3.5 to 4 millimeter crochet hook or 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter knitting needles. And I believe this is in the color pistachio, which is number three. So this is a little different for me because I've never used a yarn that has a separate strands before. So as you can see, None of the strands are like uh, spun together, they're all just separate. It did say on their website that you could use a small bead and run the strands through the bead to help you work with this a little bit easier, so I may have to try that. But I think it's, I don't know, I really like the feel of this even more so than the other two cotton yarns, and I think it's probably just because the strands are not spun together. But one quick thing to actually keep in mind is that even though this is a weight two right here, it actually seems like it's thinner than the weight one baby organic cotton yarn. You can kind of see right there. And it's probably just because these aren't spun together, but just keep that in mind that um, this is actually quite a thin yarn. This also comes in a total of 12 different colors and it will run you about 2140 USD. So I'm really excited to try this one out, so let's get right into the demo. So right off the bat, the one con with this is obviously going to be the fact that it can be a bit difficult to work with due to the yarn threads not being spun together. But for me, it was still overall very easy to work with, even without their little tip of threading the yarn through a bead. Every now and then, a single thread would kind of fall off the hook, so you do have to be cognizant of that. But otherwise, this yarn feels great to work with, and the colors looked amazing due to the unspun nature of the threads. So really, I think it's just give and take. Now this, I think, would be a really fun yarn to, um, I guess, work with another yarn. So if you mix some yarns together and made like a cute little sweater or crop top, I could definitely see this adding a fun pop of color. So yeah, really fun yarn to work with. And the last yarn I'm going to review is Hobie's Twister. 55% cotton, 45% acrylic blend, just because I wanted to try out one of their cotton blends. Now this is a weight two fine yarn. It has about 100 grams or 437 yards in each cake, and they recommend you use a 3.5 to 4 millimeter hook or three to four millimeter knitting needles. I picked up this yarn in three colors, the first being Plum, which is number 116. The second is Glacier, 
number 122. And the third is light rose, which is number 109. Now I really like the feel of this yarn because it's an acrylic cotton blend. It's going to be softer than your typical 100% cotton, but I feel like it will still be breathable. So this would be a really great yarn to use for different clothing items. Just from first impressions, I feel like this could potentially be a staple for me because I like to make crochet clothing and the weight of this, as well as the blend of cotton and acrylic, is just very appealing to me. So this comes in 51 colors and it's normally 1220 USD, but at the time of recording, it's on sale for six USD. So if you're watching this right when I put it out, I would definitely go check this out now if you've been eyeing it. One other quick thing to mention again is the weight of this. Like I said, this is a weight two yarn and I'm comparing this to the weight one baby cotton yarn that's on top in green. So you can definitely see that the cotton acrylic blend weight two is thinner than the weight one 100% organic baby cotton that's on top here. So just keep that in mind as well. But now that we are done with talking about this yarn, let's actually use it. So this is by far my favorite yarn out of all four. Just the weight, the feel, the ease, it's all there. And it's definitely because of the acrylic blend. So it's almost not fair to the other cotton yarns. I'm sorry, 100% cotton, but I don't know if I can go back after this. Uh, also the stitch definition on this one is just, I think the best out of all four of them. Again, that's probably due to the acrylic blend in there as well. So I think this is going to be a staple for me now because I, I really just love the weight of this and I've been looking for kind of this exact thing, the cotton acrylic blend, because I used to work with cotton yarn quite a bit, but over time I realized, you know, it doesn't really have that stretch to it. It's not very elastic. When it stretches out, it kind of stays a little stretched out. So I love the fact that there is acrylic in this. So I can see myself making dresses, shirts, bralettes, crop tops, hair accessories, so many things with this yarn. Um, so yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. That's why I saved it for last. I'd like to thank Hobie again for sponsoring this video, and I'll definitely be using all of these yarns for future projects. The links for all of these will be in the description box down below, and if you're interested, check out their website. Each yarn comes with customer reviews, patterns, and pictures as well. If you're unsure of what to make, Hobie also has a wide selection of patterns, both free and paid. And if you become a Hobie Plus member, you get a bunch of perks, including three free Plus patterns a month. You can also download Hobie's bingo app, where every week they have a virtual bingo game. So you can win prizes and it's totally free. I think that's a fun little idea as well. Well, that is all for this video. I hope this helped at least a few of you out there. And stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye!